Shelburne Farms is, well, currently it's an educational nonprofit, so we're open to the public for people to come and uh, see the farm, go on our walking trails, go to the children's farmyard. Um, we also have an inn and a restaurant, um, and they can also come here and watch us make cheese. But originally the farm was the Vanderbilt uh, summer house, essentially. We, 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 these are all uh, uh, purebred registered brown Swiss cows. Uh, we, we operate on about 1,100 acres of grassland, uh, about a third of which is in pasture and two thirds in hay. Well, we, we, we're humane under, uh, certified humane under Humane Farm Animal Care, which is uh, an organization of veterinarians and animal welfare groups that put together some standards for humane treatment of livestock on farms. And when the program first started, we thought it would be a good, good thing for us to have on our label and on, for our cheese. And when we got the standards, it was really gratifying to me because we basically didn't have to change any anything. I mean, we're, we're an organization dedicated to conservation and stewardship, and that applies to the land and the water quality, but also how we treat our animals, too. So we make cheese every single day from the evening milking and the morning milking. We only use the milk from our farm, so we're not buying in milk from other farms. And um, we, uh, I mean, the farmers know the cows by name, you know, and then in the morning we pick up the milk and we make cheese by hand every single day. You know, we really, we pride ourselves in using traditional methods. Um, we also use raw milk. Um, we don't pasteurize our milk. And so we're really, you know, all of the um, bacteria and enzymes and everything that's from the soil and the grass and the cows, it, it's with, this is a product that's really true to this place, you know, so, um, and by not pasteurizing it, we're really maintaining the, you know, the tradition of how they used to make it before they had pasteurizers and robots and all of that. And I started working here when I was in college and there's a lot of things that I was doing that was very theoretical and I really liked just coming here and working and making something that was very tangible, like making something with my hands that at the end of the day I could see. Like every single day I'm gonna make six or 700 pounds of cheese. And that was just like a really satisfying feeling that I felt back then and even now, eight years later, I still feel now. I think knowing where your food comes from and how it's grown is really, really important. I, you know, consumers can do, uh, that's what consumers can do really is make an invest, that's how they can make an investment in agriculture is by supporting those local farmers and without people buying local food, there is no local agriculture, there are no farms. Like, I mean, this is real food, yeah. you know? <laughs> you don't get any more real than this.